everyone. Today we are talking about this high quality 2.7K video camera. It can also be used as, you know, a photographing camera as well. You can take photos, you can do videos, you could do nighttime vision. Um, you can get additional accessories that you can use with the camera. So like a microphone, for example, you can go ahead, you would just take this top piece out put the microphone in, plug it in on the back side here where the microphone slot is, for example. Um, you can connect to the camera to a TV so you can watch your footage on the big screen. Um, you can do video camera calls so we can use this as like a webcam per se. There's a bunch of different things that we can do with this and we'll just talk about everything this product comes with, how it works, and we'll just jump right into it. So as you can see, comes in everything in this box here, gives you a nice case, keeps everything safe, comes with a cube so you can plug in the USB charger here. So you will need to purchase your own uh, SD card by the way, but it does come with a charger and on the back, just like where we would plug in the microphone if you buy that separately, you would plug in the USB on the side over here and then you would just be able to charge that. If I can get it in there. You would be able to charge the uh, battery that way too. Um, and then on the bottom here, we can show you where the battery is. Super easy to take out. It comes with two batteries total. So it gives you an additional one and then one's already installed for you. Um, it did not come with the SD card, but I provided my own so we can see how that one is already set up there. This would be the tripod, so you can go ahead and use that as a stabilizer or any type of tripod there. The HDMI cable you could plug into a TV so you can view the footage. And then we have the mic slot over there. But since we're already on the back, this too is going to be the recording feature. So when you start recording videos, you would use this button. And then for the photographs, it's gonna be directly on top. So right where you zoom in and zoom out, if you're taking a photograph, you use this button here. And then there's an automatic um, kind of magnetic lens cap there and it stays attached so you don't have to worry about losing a lens cap, which is awesome. And then this just makes, you know, recording videos much easier. So now we're just gonna open it. And so it's after a few seconds, it'll turn on by itself. Um, but if you do wanna manually like turn it on and turn it off, you would just long press the power button. And so I could long press and then you could see it turns off. Um, but then if I, open and close it, it should turn back on by itself. Okay, and then we can kind of just mess around with the settings here. Um, so on the side here as well, there is a power button. So you would do a short press to kind of change the mode. So now we're in nighttime mode and then a single press to bring it back to where we started. And so one of the first things that we need to talk about too is formatting the SD card. So what you'll want to do, there's a menu button on the side here. We're gonna press that, press it twice to when you wanna see exposure at the top, that's how you know you're in the right setting. And then there is an up and down feature, so we're just gonna keep scrolling down, and we can do that until we see format card. And format, okay. And then to do okay, we'll hit the power button once. Uh, confirmation to format the memory card. We're gonna say yes, and we're gonna need to hit one of the up or down buttons to move to the other side. Single press of the power button to confirm, and now our SD card is formatted. So just make sure if you're formatting the card that you've, if you've used this card before, that you've transferred the files onto a computer, a hard drive, because formatting is gonna completely wipe them out. So that's how you format the SD card. And so then we can turn the camera on and off. So we already showed you how to do that. Um, and now we can show you how to use this as a webcam for an example. So we can just connect using this. It's kind of like a two for one. You can use it to charge, but also use it to use the camera as a webcam. So we're gonna move everything to the side here. And let me get set up over here to where I'm on the right space. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna just do like a little FaceTime call. Um, and let me make sure I'm in the right spot here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I am here. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna plug into the USB on the side here. Make sure we're plugged in. And then we're going to set this down, plug this into the USB port on the side of my computer. 
you'll hear a little window pop up. I don't think, oh yes, we do have to do one more thing. So we're gonna hit uh, PC camera. So we're gonna hit the button down on the side and then for the okay button, we're gonna set power. And then you heard it do it again. So now if I, let me just make sure we're all up and running here. And then I can go ahead and call myself. Okay, so yay, so I can see myself. And then I'm just gonna wait for it to work on my phone here. Do, 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 do. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer it, but you can see over here that I am right there in the corner. So I'm waiting for a call to answer and talk to my friend. So you can see that it's really high quality um, and that the pixels are good, the resolution is good. Um, for some reason, I'm not able to find it on my phone here, but you know that it does work as that option here. Um, so I love that I'm able to video chat with friends using this camera too, and not just, you know, recording videos or special occasions or taking photographs of them. I can use it as like a webcam itself too. And then so when you're done, you'll just unplug, you know, kind of mess around with that. And so it also comes with a remote too. So I was able to turn it off using the remote. Um, I can turn it back on using the remote. Um, and if you, again, if you want to use the turning on button on the side, you'll just long press the power button. And then you can see we're already coming back here. And let me just see if there's any other settings that I want to mess around with. Um, yes, so we can do, you know, zooming in. We can go up to 16.0 to zoom in and then zooming out would be one. Okay, so there's other settings. You can take photographs with that, start video with that. There's all sorts of different settings that you can mess around with, but I love this camera, very high quality. It'll automatically turn off. You'll hear a little noise. And then we can just set this up and then also we can put it in the hard case so that she is all safe. So I love this product. I can use it a few different ways um, as a webcam, uh, formatting the camera was, or excuse me, formatting the SD card was super easy. Charging is easy, comes with a remote, a block. The only thing you need to provide is the SD card. So check this out for yourself. I'm in love with this product. I highly recommend you get it and we'll talk to you later.